Located just 35 miles south of Cleveland in the industrial Midwest, we're in Akron, Ohio, for what should be a great football game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Quick throw, picked off. Brought down at the 33. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Gets it out quickly. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Looks to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 32-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Baylor to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Baylor's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They come out on an empty backfield. He's out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Stopped in his tracks with that tackle. No game. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 36. The offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Make the stop at the 27. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's 
tackled right around the 20. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. That makes it second we played one. The Bears lead it 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. Complete brought down, nothing to it. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everett ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Baylor is up four. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Good open field tackle. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Throws it deep. This one will fall incomplete. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Baylor is up by four. And two. 
He fires left side. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Gets it out to him again. Tackle at about the nine-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five! Black five! That makes it first and goal. Red two! Got a man in and out of his hands. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hit to prevent the score. Second down and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He gets it up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. Baylor's lead is a touchdown. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one-step rep, two-step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Ah. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Baylor up seven points. Picked off. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Zips it to the back. He's brought down in the open field. Number one on the tackle at the 24 yard line. That'll make it the Man can't tack on any yardage. Call the game four yards. That'll bring up four and one. He's to the forty, and he's taken down at the forty-four yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Yeah, 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 47. That brings us second and one. Yeah, let's go sack lunch. First down grab. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. Quick strike and he drops it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From the 38-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Number 22 on the coverage. That brings us third and 10. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 36 yard line. Number 44 makes the tackle at the 36 yard Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. Number 35, the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Looks to his receiver, first down, and he's taken down around the 12 yard line. and he fumbles the football. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? The Bears with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he hits him hard, the 13-yard line. Backs got it. He's taken down right around the four yard line. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Gives it right side, and he is drilled at the one. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. for extra yardage. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up second and goal. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's second and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line.
can't get away from the pressure. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. This is the 15th play of this drive. And he's going to come up with a sack. The blitz came, and they were able to get to the quarterback. And, Brad, it was the defensive end that came away with that one. That was just a relentless pursuit that got him to the quarterback. Under a minute left. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Makes it to the 47. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 45. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. That's a great tackle. The 47 yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score, 10-3, Bears. 10, and the Zips, 3. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.